cripples, my ripples, my big fat pink nipples, it's me, Eddie. Today, I'm doing a rant. As you can see, I'm in my chair again, sitting like an absolute fat nerd. Uh, I'm talking about my uh, school's new policies, uh, no excuses policies, as they call it, or the FU policies, as me and my friends call it. So, let's talk about some of these new policies. Bing, 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 bing. Bum. The first policy they have is no train gut lip. You can guess what the no excuses stand for. If you do something, there's no excuses for it. But I doubt that. Uh, the first policy they have is no chewing gum in the halls. I I get I kind of get that at least yeah. But you can't tell someone not to chew something when their breath smells like absolute butt cracks. Okay. If your breath smells yeah, and you're trying to talk to your friends, your friends are going like, damn man, they're just pulling back after smelling your damn nasty breath. Of course you want to go chew some of that fresh mint gum, man. Of course you want to chew some of that. You're not going to get, no one's going to come up to you at work when you're chewing some gum and be like, hey, what are you doing there? Oh, uh, mate, I'm just trying to make my breath smell nicer. No, 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 we can't have that at our, at our workspace. Get out, you're fired, mate. Give, give, me, give me your card. So, like, I don't, like, I, I can't understand that rule. But then there's the next stupid rule, walking on the left side. W what's going to happen if we don't walk on the left side? Literally, teachers in my school will be like, I know I might walk on the left side. They're, they're putting their hands out like this, telling us to walk on the left side, yeah? One teacher was actually on the left side and pushing people to the right. And then one of the other students being like, Miss, you're on the other side. She's like, oh. They're telling us to walk on the left side. And then 30 seconds later, or like a lesson later after you come out of the class, you see them walking down the right side of the hallway, moving students. Like trying to trying to think that oh, I am all right, am I? Yeah, I am. I'm, I have the power of Moses splitting the students like I am a prophet. No, you're not. Calm down, all right. You're just a teacher who gets paid bloody oh, maybe slightly more than minimum wage. Calm yourself down, all right. Uh, what other rules we got? Oh, uh, oh yeah. The basically you get one. I think you get like one chance, and then you get sent to like the rat room. Yeah, me and my friends always go uh, joking about this. We think that at first we thought, well, to get sent to the rap room, you have to like, battle rap battle Eminem to get out. That would actually be pretty fun. I probably want to go there, but no. See, the rap room is that once you get told you get you get, you get warning, be like naughty boy, Jeremy. I'm sorry, miss. And then you, you bloody say, oh, can I have the uh, can I help me with this question, Jeremy? I told you off last time. Come on, straight to the rap room. You got two minutes to get there, miss. Two minutes. Or on the other side of the goddamn school. I don't care if you don't get it there, you get excluded. Man, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be walking like Flash to get to, basically, which is the whole uh, detention. Yeah, because you, you stay there for a whole like day, basically, or longer, until you, and you go back to the same lesson you were the next. Say you say you get sent there in period two, you stay in the rap room the whole the rest of the day, and you come back and stay in it for period one again, until period two. Some bull crap, man. So it's basically like a prolonged detention. You're just stuck in a room. It's like the isolation room, but ten times worse. Okay. And to, to two minutes together, I'm not gonna be walking like Flash. Okay. I'm not gonna be like, like doing some ninja runs across the hallways. Okay. I ain't no Naruto. I'm not jumping from tree to tree trying to get to the worst thing of my life. And there's two excuses for it. It's stupid because teachers hate all that power and feel like they're some, I don't know, like some dictator. Then, oh no 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 you you breathed without my permission <laughs> In, insolent mortal you get to the rat room and a waste of the whole the whole day doing nothing when you could be learning yep waste the whole day because some stupid teacher gave you and you said oh no you you whispered yeah forget your education getting a bad job now because you whispered out of line out of line if you actually uh i actually got this uh footage from from the school from some of the testings at the school as you can see Yeah, so uh, that was some of the footage from the school. It's, it seems it seems very weird, doesn't it? It seems very similar to something. I wonder I wonder who who this seems very similar to. Hmm. Uh, I'm actually yeah. How about this? One second. Oh, uh, let me let me interview one of my friends. So we're going to interview this uh, my my good friend. If he actually answers. 
What? Uh, so, friend, what do you think about the school's policies? So, as you can see, even my friend has no words on how crap these school's policies are. This is stupid. Like, they're a bunch of hypocrites. They're saying it's the students' fault that the school is so crap, even though most of the Ofsted report even said it's because they didn't check the background of the uh, teachers. So, tell me. When, when a teacher is shouting at four students in top set, this is a top set teacher outside, shouting at four students while the Ofsted guy is just looking at him like, what the hell is he doing? Tell me, whose fault is it then? And if the school tries to take this down, go ahead, try. Doesn't matter, no one's going to see this anyway except for people at the school. Who cares anyway? But, try and take this down. It's under fair use. I didn't say any teacher's names. Didn't say the school's name. Nothing. So, uh, yeah. One for me. World's best dad. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye, I guess. You know, just leave. Yeah, you can leave now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't get sick. Go, don't I'm, get stressed. Don't get bronchitis. Hey. So this money shit. Yeah, it's been on my mind. Fuck your posse clip. I'ma pop off in time with the Tommy miss. Yeah, this how I slime. I'm out to see some tits. Yeah, your mommy is fine. Hey.